the derivative of x squared that can be written as d dx x squared is equal to 2x. From using first principles, we know that we can prove this. So let's look at this using first principles. Remember from first principles, the first thing we do is to identify our function. Our function is x squared. Our next step is to add a small change to x. So f of x plus our small change is equal to x plus that small change all squared. From binomial expansion, we know that this is equal to x squared plus 2 times x delta x, which is 2ab plus b squared, which is delta x squared. Our third step, we subtract our function from this, our original function from what we have here, and then we divide that by the small change. So f of x plus delta x, we subtract our original function, and we divide by delta x. So what we'd have is this minus f of x. So x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared minus or f of x, which is x squared, and we divide that by delta x. Now we see that this cancels this. So what we're left with is 2x delta x plus delta x squared. We divide this by delta x. We can write this as two separate fractions. So we have 2x delta x over delta x plus delta x squared over delta x. This cancels this and we're left with 2x on this side one of this delta x cancels one of that, so we're left with one delta x, so plus delta x. Our fourth step and our final step in first principles, we find the limit of what we have earlier. So we're going to find the limit of this, which is f of x plus delta x minus f of x divided by delta x. And this is as delta x approaches 0. And this is the result of what we did here. So let's plug in 0 for delta x. When we do that, remember this is our function. When we plug in 0 for delta x, we have 2x plus 0, which is 2x. So the derivative of x squared is equal to to 2x as we see here. So now we know that the derivative of x squared is equal to 2x. We don't always have to use first principles to derive and I said that in previous videos. We don't have to use first principles so we can use other rules that are a lot easier than first principles. And one such rule is what we call power rule. The power rule says that the derivative of x to the n is equal to n times x to the n minus 1. So as our function x squared, the derivative of x squared is equal to n in this case is 2 so we carry that down and multiply it by x, which is this here, and 2 minus 1, which is 2x. As we can see, again, we found the derivative of x squared using the power rule, which simply what we do, we multiply by our n and subtract 1 from our n. That's all. And we see that this is a lot faster than using first principles. So let's take a look at some examples. Let's say you add this function, x squared plus 3x plus 
7. And we're supposed to differentiate this. Let's call this function y. So we're supposed to differentiate y dy dx. Remember, this is a notation of differentiating. So this is saying you're differentiating y with respect to x. So the derivative of this would then be equal to using, um, before I even go any further, I want to say that derivative, as with limits, we can find the individual derivative of each term and then add them. So let's look at the x squared first. So x squared. Derivative of x squared, as we know, is 2x. And what we do, we take down the 2, multiply it by x, and then 2 minus 1. And the reason why we have 2 minus 1 is because n in this case is 2. Our next term, which is 3x. We already know from previous examples and from what we did with a proof with first principles, we know that the derivative of x is 1. So this would be 3 times 1. So the reason why this is 3 times 1, we know that the derivative of a function, d of a function f of x, and f of x is multiplied by a constant, what we can do is factor out that constant and find the derivative of the function itself. So we could factor out the 3, which is a constant, put it on the outside, and in the, in, on the inside, we do the operation of finding the derivative. And our function would be x. And we know that the derivative of x is 1. Hence the reason for 3, 1 there. Now to our last function, our term. We know from previous example, the, the intro to differentiation video, we know that the derivative of a constant is equal to 0. And we did a proof with this using first principles as well. And I think that we use 7. So the derivative of 7 is 0 because 7 is a constant. So the derivative of this entire function would then be just this section. So let me rewrite that as 2x plus 3. Let's take a look at another example. So that's our function. And we're differentiating y with respect to x. So dy dx would be the derivative of 7x squared. Differentiate that with respect to x plus the derivative of 3x cubed with respect to x plus the derivative of 5 to the fifth power. So let's take this one first. We can factor out the 7. So we have 7 d dx and we're differentiating x squared. For our second function, our term, we have that. So we can factor out the 3. So we have the 3 on the outside. Then we have d x cubed, and we're differentiating with respect to x. Now this. We can factor out the 5, differentiating x to the 5th with respect to x. Using power rule, we take down this 2. So we'll have 7 times the 2. We take down the 2, multiply it by the x. 2 minus 1. That's our first term. The second term, we have our 3. We factor out our 3, multiplying the derivative of x cubed. So we take this 3 down, multiply it by x, 3 minus 1. For our final term, which is 5x, we have our 5 on the outside, and now we take down the 5, x, and we subtract 1 from 5. What we are left with is 14x plus 3 times 3, 9x squared plus 
x to the fourth power. And this is the derivative of what we have here. And that's how you use the power rule to differentiate. And we normally use this when we have x to a power, as you can see in all these terms here. And that would be it for this video. Thank you for watching.